everyone welcome to my channel crochet rainbows and butterflies today we are going to learn how to crochet this puff flower hexagon now before we get started if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss a crochet tutorial now for this tutorial I'm using crochet hook 3.5 millimeters you can use any crochet yarn but for this tutorial I'm using four ply cotton yarn. So let's get started. We begin with a magic circle. Now for those of you who do not know how to work a magic circle, I have a video on that as well. I'll leave the link to that video in the description box below. Now once you have your magic circle, you need to work six single crochets in this magic circle. So we start with one. two, three, four, five and six. Now once you have your six single crochets you need to pull the loose end to close the circle and we need to join this row by working a slip stitch. So we are going to work a slip stitch in the first single crochet that you started this row with. So that's right here. And that's your slip stitch. Now for the next row you need to chain 3. 1, 2 and 3. And we are going to start working the puff stitches. We have 6 single crochets in this row you need to work one puff stitch in each of these stitches so we're going to start with the first stitch in the same stitch where you have your chain three now to work your puff stitch you need to yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch yarn over pull through and you need to pull up this loop till you reach the length of your chain 3. So that's one. Now we're going to work this loop five times. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, two, three, four and five and now you need to yarn over and pull through all these loops chain one to finish your stitch and now you chain one again now we're going to work a puff stitch right into the next stitch right here so you yarn over, insert your hook and pull through. You need to work this five times. So this is one, two, three, four and five. And now you yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook chain one to finish your stitch and chain one again before you start the next puff stitch. Now you need to continue working one puff stitch in each of the stitches of your previous row. So you need to have a total of six puff stitches in this row. We begin with a magic circle. Now for those of you who do not know how to work a magic circle, I have a video on that as well. I'll leave the link to that video in the description box below. Now once you have your magic circle, you need to work six single crochets in this magic circle. So we start with one, two, three, four, five 
and six. Now once you have your six single crochets, you need to pull the loose end to close the circle. And we need to join this row by working a slip stitch. So we are going to work a slip stitch in the first single crochet that you started this row with. So that's right here. And that's your slip stitch. I've completed working the six puff stitches. Now you need to join this row by working a slip stitch and you need to work a slip stitch into the stitch that's right on top of your first puff stitch that's right here. And now you need to work a second slip stitch into this chain space. And now you chain three, one, two, three. We are going to start working the puff stitch in the same chain space. So you start your first puff stitch of this row. One, two, three, four, and five. You complete your stitch and chain one and now you need to work the second puff stitch in the same chain space one two three four and five you complete your stitch and chain one now in the next chain space you need to work two puff stitches. So again it's one, two, three, four and five. You complete your stitch and chain one and you work a second puff stitch in the same chain space. One, two, three, four and five. You complete your stitch and chain one. Now this is a pattern you need to follow for the rest of this row. In each chain space you need to work two puff stitches and in between each puff stitch you need to work a chain one. I've completed working the puff stitches. You need to have a total of 12 puff stitches in this row. And now you need to join this row by working a slip stitch right on top of the first puff stitch. It's right here. You work your slip stitch, chain one, and you cut your yarn. We are going to change the color for the next row. Now I'm going to join the next color by working a slip knot and you need to join this color right in between these two puff stitches. So you have your puff stitches, two of them. You have one right here, one, two, three, four, five and six. Six spaces with two puff stitches. You need to work in between these two puff stitches right here. And now you chain three. You work one double crochet in the same chain space. chain three and now you need to work two double crochets in the same chain space one and two in the next chain space you need to work two double crochets 
1 and 2. In the next chain space, you work 2 double crochets, 1 and 2, chain 3 and 2 double crochets in the same chain space, 1 and 2. Now in the next chain space, you need to work 2 double crochets. In the next chain space, you work 2 double crochets, chain 3 and 2 double crochets in the same chain space, 1 and 2. In the next chain space, 2 double crochets. 1 and 2. In the next chain space, 2 double crochets, chain 3 and 2 double crochets in the same chain space. In the next chain space, 2 double crochets, in the next chain space, 2 double crochets, chain 3 and 2 double crochets in the same chain space. one and two. In the next chain space, two double crochets. In the next chain space, two double crochets, chain three, and two double crochets in the same chain space. Now you have your last chain space here. Right into that you work two double crochets. And now you need to join your row with the slip stitch right into the first chain 3 that you started this row with. You work a slip stitch chain 1 and now you can cut your yarn. We've completed working the puff Flower hexagon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and happy crocheting.